So I'm watching Jeremy over at uh, Disciples Corner there. He's uh, doing his first paint job. And uh, <clears throat> freaking hour and a half long video, man. Uh, you guys need to go give this guy a hand. Hey, this is He's, uh, from What Not To Do Garage. <laughs> what Not To Do Garage. That's a good one, buddy. See how thick I laid it on there? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but I haven't done this enough times. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down because uh, it's painful. But uh, Jeremy, man, that uh, tack rag with the hand thing only works if you're Cuban. And uh, yeah, so if you're a gringo, that won't work. And uh, so you gotta watch that using your hand to be a gringo. It, it's not good. You'll have fish eyes and dust. So you need to get a tack rag for sure. But uh, I'm gonna go answer some questions, I guess. Take a look at some of these videos. Try to make this a little quicker in the morning if there's any new questions. But uh, do 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 spray away glass cleaner. That's uh, Cedell, that's Wendell. He, he likes to use that uh, spray away glass cleaner too. And uh, you guys all know who Cedell is. He's the one that just did the 67 Impala that came out like uh, glass, the red one with the convertible top. So uh, take some tips from that guy. He does some really nice work. And uh, there's another guy that likes the glass cleaner. So. And uh, be bugging says you can't wait to see that bug sprayed. Me either, buddy. Uh, it's getting close. I'm, I'm all burned today. I had a spray bomb blow up in my face. So we made some good progress today on it. And uh, <clears throat> got to do some grinding on the welds tomorrow. That's always fun when you're burnt from welding. And uh, I still haven't got used to the helmet thing yet. I got an on off helmet, but I still can't see. So I got to work on that. <clears throat> But, uh, Pete 72, it'd be good to see that the beetles coming along. We, we've got some dent scent today. So, there's Andrea in her pajamas. Cecil 6711, you're making progress on the, the beetle, I guess, in the Hyundai. So, new river repair. We just answered him. Yeah? <laughs> I asked him if there was a way that I could link the video to him so he didn't miss them. He said once they're titled, he can't get them. Oh, that's no good. Well, I'll leave them untitled for you for, you know, a little while so you can check them out. And, uh, got the hand bone there. Gave us his information. I need to send hand bone some, some paint. I got some tractor yellow and stuff. See so if that's what he's going to use or whatever. Just, okay, uh, that, that's part of another question while I'm in there. One, I need to know what I was mailing him because I saw that email. And yeah. two, there's another guy, the stand email. What am I sending that guy? Which one? About a stand of some sort. A stand. A stand, a stand. Oh, grab me that, uh, empty catalog out of the back there. It's in the bathroom. I got your catalog, buddy. I'll uh, get that in the mail to you. Just, uh, I guess you already PM'd Andrea your address. And, uh, yeah. Here's the catalog. And, uh, they probably have a website. You can just give them the part number. Well, they probably do. But they don't have an MP dealer in his area, then you know he's gonna have to call Eric or Junior and have it shipped. Well, why or, don't I just <clears throat> or drop do that. shipped? You know, you can have a drop shipped to his house, probably. Well, so why don't I just do that? I don't know. Why don't you do that? I can't. Just email me what you'd like me to do. I can just get it here and ship it to you. Let me know what you want me to do. Yeah, or I can get. Uh... I can get. Junior to just drop ship it. Yeah, for depending me. on where he lives, it might be cheaper just to drop ship it to him, you know, because it's, uh, depending on where you're at, you know. He's yeah. in Pens Pennsylvania, I think. You ever notice when you want to find something, you know, you can't find it? Do you want me to find it for you? 
Oh, no. That would be unacceptable if you grabbed the book and just went right to it. That well, would... I was going to go to the index and look up whatever kind of stand it was you were looking for, and it would tell me what page it was on. Yeah, maybe you better do that. <laughs> what kind of stand So anyway, she's going to find that for you. And uh, What am I looking for? Uh, engine stand. It's towards the back there. So anyway, uh, Bone, just let me know what you want. If you want the yellow, I got that. Whatever color you want, you know, if, uh, for your tractor there. And uh, just let me know if you want yellow, white, whatever. And I'll get that in some uh, pints and quarts and send it out to you. I got to ship it in a uh, quarter of a pint so I can put locks on the can and all that good stuff. And uh, there you go. Here's the... Uh, let me turn this on for you so you can check these out. Do, do. Oh, so there's the stands right there uh, there's the bench mount you know you can put that on the top of your bench and uh, those work okay you can do an engine or a tranny with those uh, I like the ones down here I like the ones I have on the bottom here and it's got the reinforcement and then this one's got a little tray but you know the tray fills up with oil all the time so you might not want to use that one so but anyway so that's that and uh, I'll get this out to you as soon as you send me your address or you can just call Andrea or whatever and uh, I've got uh, a card for triangle here somewhere I can show you that so you can, uh, if you want, you can call Junior or Steve. And uh, let me see. So there's Triangle's number. And uh, if you call them, they'll hook you up. They ship. And you just tell them that uh, I sent you over there. BW Darren, and who I am. And. Uh, They'll help you out. They're good guys there. So, all right. Doop 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 doop. So that's all, that's it for that video. You didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of hits on that one, or no, people didn't leave a lot of comments. And then we got spray gun video. Rise from Meadow. Look like some pretty good tools in the catalog. Spray gun your son looks a lot like the one I use on the Firebird, but blue. I think they make a lot of guns for different people, and I uh, got a couple different ca air caps and stuff, but uh, they're a pretty big company. Astro is now. And then uh, Sissy007 said, Thanks for the update. Thanks for the comment, buddy. Thanks for watching. Uh, great details. Thanks for the vid. That's a uh, bad busher. Thanks for the comment, buddy. Thanks for watching. Velvet Hammer. Primer looks nice and slick. Thanks, buddy. And uh, that's another guy you guys got to check out, Velvet Hammer. He does some really nice paint work. Uh, he bought a DeVelvis Plus that he uses a lot. And he's got a SADA. And uh, he's got some nice equipment. And uh, he turns out some really nice jobs. So check that guy's site out. He's got some good videos and uh, got a couple different things going on and uh, but you know how that is got to do a little bit of everything anymore and Pete 1972 said hope there's a black kitten and I hope there is too and then Millrick good tips thanks for the vid and uh, you guys check Millrick out he's cleaning his garage tonight getting organized he does some good stuff too uh, He's got a real funny buddy that comes over there that drinks beer and passes out on him, Mr. Lightweight. So, uh, got some good videos there. Check him out. And then uh, Matt said, Slow SRT said, No, did you say red? Because there's already a red Nova in the garage. And I forgot about Chris's car. But my car was red first, man. You know, I've got a picture of it. I just like red. Maybe I should paint it white with some black wheels. That'd be cool. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, 
you know, red's easy. It's a solid color, and uh, I'm all for easy. All right. And then uh, Rich said, thanks for the video. You're welcome, buddy. Then we got Cecil, 6711 again. Baby cat's looking real healthy. Hope she gives you a black cat. I hope so, man. She's eating like a horse. You wouldn't believe the food that little cat eats. You'd think her head would get bigger sooner or later, but uh, her body's getting big. So then we got uh, Stone Furball, Nova Time. Thanks for the vid later. Gonna work on it, buddy. I'm working on it. I put some X primer on that door today, and I get that taped up tomorrow. I'm priming that door, and uh, I'm going to try to take that core support down in the morning and get it blasted so I can uh, get a jump on that. And then, uh, Johnny, uh, I'm going to butcher your name here, man. F O W D E R. Fonder. Fonder. L V L P. Low volume, low pressure. Great guns. Near zero overspray. Hey man, maybe you can do a video on that gun. I've never seen one of those. I saw it in the catalog and that sounds pretty cool. That might be, uh, if it's low pressure, that might be the kind of gun that the guys in the garage that have uh, smaller compressors might be able to look into. Uh, I can see if I can get my hands on one of those and do a demo. But if somebody's got one of those out there in the garage and could do a video, that'd be really cool. It's called an LVLP. And, uh, Johnny, uh, follower, der, <laughs> I'm butchering your name, buddy. He says that uh, near zero overspray with that. So, so maybe somebody can do a video. We'll check that out. I haven't personally seen one of those guns in action yet. So I don't know if that's like uh, would be compliant in the HVLP shop or however that works. But uh, that's cool. And then Ed the Kid. He, he got a, a 2.0 tip and stuff that he bought. He's going to use that for his primer. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's an Astro with a 2.0 tip. That should work good for you, buddy. Uh, you know, that'll be a pounder for sure. Oh, and then the hand bone says don't work too hard. Don't worry about that. So that's about it for that. And, uh, We'll see if there's more stuff in the morning. And uh, from that video this morning, heard back from Shannon. Uh, one on one, the guy says he's doing good. And uh, his little girl just started riding her dirt bike. So he's going to get some videos of that and pop them up for us. So that'll be cool. And uh, I remember when Hans rode his first mini bike. It's a little nerve wracking, you know, when you uh, set him loose on one of those. Because, uh, you never know, man. But uh, good news there, man. Good to hear from you. And uh, maybe a video soon, huh? So, Faster Cat, he uh, sent me that thing and he told me thanks. Or I was. Uh, told me you're welcome for it. That's pretty cool, you know? Girls painted it up, you know? They even put a little guy in there driving it. I think they're still coloring it, but we're going to put it in a little frame up there. He sent that over on the computer for me, so that's pretty cool, man. Appreciate that. And uh, uh, finger painter, he said. Uh, I think he said good video. Oh, big Eric. He likes the. Oh, yeah, I'm answering the questions now, and uh, he likes the longer videos because. Uh, He's got a lot of time on his hands, he said. So uh, that's how I started. You know, I used to watch videos when I couldn't get out of the house and I was in bed. And uh, I uh, discovered the internet, never was a computer guy. And uh, I used to watch, you know, some of these guys that are subscribed to me now. And uh, Pete over at Southwest Rod and Customs, you know, started watching his vids, found him looking for uh, Volkswagens and uh, typing in 64 bug and his video popped up. And uh, I used to love watching that channel, man. He put videos up every day and they'd be screaming at his employees. And I worked at some places like that growing up. So it brought back some good memories. And uh, 
sort of made me want to get out of bed and get out in the garage and do some stuff and you know so that's how it all started for me so big eric's building the garage we'll be getting some videos from him and he's got a son named preston preston likes to do the videos and his little sister likes to try to uh help him out and uh preston doesn't like that when his sister helps but uh cool videos from them so thanks for watching buddy and then uh wtbm123 said good video i like the answering videos and uh thanks for watching buddy thanks for posting don't worry about the length i like work uh listening when i work that's the wrecking yard and uh Oh, another pisser follower, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this guy wants to know about fumes and uh, how to ventilate his work area. Well, it's real important to, you know, ventilate the fumes from the paint because they're not good for you. And, uh, you know, you should have a paint mask on for one thing. <clears throat> and uh, gloves because you don't want... Uh, Thinner can get into your bloodstream in seconds, you know, it's absorbed through the skin very easily. So, uh, you know, gloves are a good idea and uh, I'm guilty of not wearing gloves a lot of the time, so I'm not a real good example, but you should always have a respirator, a uh, fresh air system when possible. And if you can't afford a fresh air system, then definitely a respirator, you know, you want to keep it in the bag. Uh, we've all talked about that before. and. Uh, you know, the main thing is to make sure that you have adequate airflow. You want to be able to change the air out of whatever space you're working in in a pretty short amount of time. So, uh, of course, you want to filter the air coming in so you don't get a lot of dirt. And you want to filter the air before it goes through your fan. Uh, my setup's a little backwards. I have a filter box on the outside of the building that holds a filter. And uh, I need to move it to the inside, but I'm a little tight on space. Uh, so those are the main things, you know, and, uh, you know, there's all kinds of little safety things you can get into. There's a lot of guys that, uh, will give you some tips, you know, if you want, uh, you guys help them out. I can send you some, uh, material data, data safety sheets, uh, stuff like that. You know, you want to have that stuff on hand. Anytime you buy something, make sure you get a sheet on the uh, products you're using so you can keep it in case something happens uh you know uh hpr just did a video he made a little uh spot to mix his paint little room and he used the hood an old hood uh to vent the fumes out and it works pretty good so you can check his videos out he made a little uh mixing room that's always good if you can contain where you mix your paint you know and uh Drywall is a good idea, you know, so you can contain it if something happens or a metal building and uh, stuff like that. And if you need any more uh, stuff, just PM me and uh, I'll give you my phone number and we can uh, go over it over the phone because uh, some guys don't like the safety stuff. But uh, whatever I can do to help you out there, I'd be glad to give you a hand. So, uh, John Bank. Excellent way to hear about the garage gang and what's what are oh, what they are doing glad You're uh, Comfortable doing it this way Darren looking forward to many more like this. Hi, Andrea How you doing John? John's uh, one of our buddies that he's a uh, I think you're a snowbird aren't you buddy? He travels back and forth uh, from Canada to uh, Florida and uh, I missed John last trip uh, I'm looking forward to meeting him next time he's in Florida. So that's pretty cool. He's been a long time uh, subscriber and uh, commenter, so that's cool. SRV Jet Knight, like this way, you learn uh, by hearing all the answers and different questions. If I don't butch the questions up too bad, so uh, sorry about that. It'll get a little better. It'll force me to uh, become a better reader this way. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, buddy, and uh, hope you're doing uh, coming along on your project there. I haven't seen any videos in a while. Uh, SRV Jet Knight is building a 64 Plymouth Fury, I think, and 
he's uh, restoring that car, doing a lot of metal work, and uh, that's pretty cool. And he's a wicked guitar player, so uh, check his videos out for sure. So, uh, thanks for uh, the comment, buddy. Cedell, Wendell again, Andrea, my wife said she likes the YouTube garage shirts. My husband's addicted to the YouTube garage. We'll get you one of those out for sure, buddy. Uh, we got the new sign guy. He's going to help us with the shirts. So we're going to make a, another batch of shirts. He's got a smaller minimum order, so we're able, uh, it's easier to add people, you know, and uh, smaller numbers now. What's up, Missy? And uh, I think that's it. And I think everything else is answered. And uh, thanks for the leaving the comments. And uh, we'll uh, maybe go out in the garage here in a little bit and make a quick video. It's a little late, about 9.30 though. And uh, mainly I did a lot of welding. I got the hood etched. I got the fender etched. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them in epoxy primer tomorrow. We'll scuff that etch primer with a red scuffy pad. And uh, go ahead and epoxy primer them. And I uh, got the hinges bolted on the car. So we'll be able to... Uh, cut the hood in and uh, cut all that stuff in under the hood at one time. Finish welding the front clip, the quarters up, and uh, welded the posts, welded the kick panels. So we got a lot of welding done today, and the bottle's almost empty again. I got a leaky bottle again this time. I got to find another place. Uh, and it's the second bottle I got from this guy, and I turn it off as tight as I can, and I lose pressure. And uh, this is the second time this has happened. The uh, last bottle I got, you turn it off and it hold pressure till you came back to the machine like it's supposed to, but it's definitely his bottles. So, uh, that's that, man. I'm going to turn this off where it gets to be an hour long. And, uh, Jeremy, man, good luck with that Dodge truck. I'm going to go back and finish watching that video. It was pretty long, so I thought I'd make this video. And, uh, yeah, uh, watch some of those videos. I paint a lot of those Dodge trucks. So if you go back through all those videos, I'm sure you can find some uh, Dodge trucks in there, you know, on the taping. And uh, check those out, man. And uh, let me get back to that video now. So thanks, guys. And uh, thanks for being patient because it takes a while to answer those like that. And uh, I know it's a little painful. For me to read, uh, you know, through them. I like the answering questions in a video concept. It's kind of the words. That's Dan Electrode 88 or 68. See, there goes that dyslexia thing, buddy. Sorry. Thanks for the uh, vid. Looking forward to watching you block out the primer. I'm going to. We'll do a blocking video, buddy, but I'm going to block that with the DA. Because <laughs> uh, that car is way overdue. So that'll probably just get some 320, and uh, we're going to let that one fly. Uh, probably sand it tomorrow. Left it out all day today. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that primer is pretty hard. It dries pretty quick, so we'll... Uh, We'll get that one sanded down tomorrow. I'm sort of concerned with painting it outside of the booth. I got all that wood stuff, you know, the tools. So I got to find somewhere to put all that stuff tomorrow. And uh, I don't know, man. I got a lot of stuff I need to, to put somewhere. Maybe buy a shed, something. But I need that that little building back in the corner there. So, so until tomorrow, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the morning.